Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from n5d.com and zentasia.com. And you're looking live at Siesta Key Beach. It's a little after four o'clock here, Eastern time in Florida. And it is like pea soup. Now normally, down there you can see the main beach and you can see the big building right past the main beach. And then down here um, is where Point of Rocks is and that's right around the corner from somewhere down there is where the best shells on the beach are. <laughs> Skylar says she'd still dive into the waves pending the red tide. Yeah, the red tide's gone. Uh, the water's clean and clear. There's absolutely I just read an article, there's no red tide in all of Florida right now, so. And water temperature feels good. It's probably low 70s, which is, I guess, acceptable for swimming. I'm looking forward to when it finally hits 80, which will probably be next month or April. But it's not windy here. It's, a, it's There's a slight breeze, but it's not terribly windy. But the visibility is <laughs> not very far. Maybe a eighth of a mile. Yes, Melba, I live in Siesta Key, Florida. That's where we're at right now. Quick shout out to Annette, Mia, Roseanne, Tammy, Maribeth. Maribeth's been here to Siesta Key. Skylar, Ashley, Daniel, Jeanette, Kelly, Carl. Mary Lou, Christine, Pippa, Pamela, Keila, Alexis, Rada, Jerry, Carlos, David. Wow, a lot of people checking it out. Yeah, this is uh, Siesta Key, very foggy. You know, and of course, the first thing that goes through my mind is, okay, I wonder if this is one of the waves that's coming through. <laughs> but of course, it's not foggy everywhere else, just in my own immediate reality. One thing I found interesting is when I was talking with Rosie Neal on my last video, she said that there was a wave that was going to go through either the 23rd or the 24th. Now, last night, I should say early this morning, around 12.30, I made a post on Facebook. The night before, I laid down to take a nap around 7, 7.30. A nap. <laughs> and I woke up at 12.30. And I was knocked out. And I made a post about that. And surprisingly, so many other people were also knocked out early. Here it is a Saturday night. And uh, just people felt the need to have to lay down. A lot of them, a lot of people. And I'm wondering if perhaps that was the wave that Rosie was talking about. <laughs> Stacy says, even a foggy day is still beautiful. Ah, uh, thank you, Margaret. She says she loves my posts. I 
was talking to some people that were leaving the beach and I've been working all day. I've been working on a new article tomorrow. I hopefully should be releasing that article, but um, been so busy I haven't really had a chance to go out, but I was talking to some people that were leaving the beach and they said that the fog's been here for uh, a little while, but it just keeps getting thicker and thicker. So it'll be interesting to see how this progresses. Uh, Deborah's asking how warm or cold is the water. I, I would say the water temperature is maybe 73. It, it doesn't feel bad. You know, in the 60s, it's cold. But that feels actually pretty good. I just made a post on my personal Facebook page where I do share more things there than any of my other pages. And one of the things I posted was about how Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, is just losing it. She couldn't speak coherently. <laughs> and I jokingly said, well, maybe she didn't have her cup of adrenochrome this morning. But what we're seeing is a lot of people are getting triggered over politics. I think somebody went as far as to unfriend me over politics on Facebook because of that post. Now, yeah, I, you know, do what you want to do, that's fine. But you know, the way I see it is, I think of it this way. If my daughter were to tell me she's liberal, am I gonna love her any less? Nope, not at all. And that's what we all, that's probably our lesson to learn throughout this whole ordeal, is to love regardless, unconditionally. And to that person, I, I send her love and I wish her well on her journey. There's a lot of us in this field who are not Republicans or Democrats, but we do follow the Q movement. You know, myself and Wilcock and James Gilliland, Jenna Pixie. You know, there's a bunch of us that, that do that, you know, and to unfriend, if you're gonna unfriend us all, you know, go for it, that's, that's your prerogative, but you're also gonna be missing out on a lot of good information. And ultimately, the bottom line is love. You know, it's like my guides keep telling me to pass on to everybody these five things that are so important. Love. Forgiveness. Gratitude. Maintaining a high vibration. And grounding. Everything else will work out in the end. But without the love, that's the first and foremost thing. So have compassion. There's going to be some things that are happening in the near future that involve, you know, a lot of celebrities and a lot of people that others have looked up to that are going to have some uh, unhappy endings. <laughs> uh, most likely getting arrested and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I think it was yesterday, I, I posted, there was a, uh, a person that posted on the Chan boards, uh, and he goes by the name of Hollywood Anon, and he said that the people in Hollywood are panicking right now. And a lot of them, and I can understand this too, a lot of them were kind of forced into doing what they do and how they had to behave in order to get to where they are. I understand that, it's kind of like, you know, a person starting out working in a bank because they need a job to feed their family and they end up working their way up into some executive position. Of course, not as drastic of a, an example, but on a similar level, I understand that. But those that knowingly 
are using that Luciferianism in order to have greater fame, you know, those are the ones that will probably have the most difficult time when these indictments are unsealed. An important thing to keep in mind, too, is that the reason I do this is because I do own N5D.com and a lot of people are awakening every day to truths. And with Pluto and Capricorn, we're heavily into the truth vibration, which is tearing down money, government, and religion. So ultimately, I know that, for example, when people found out about 9-11, it was pretty shocking for a lot of people. And that was the beginning of, for many people, their awakening. And eventually, in your awakening, you're gonna keep asking more and more questions. And in time, your questions are gonna be more inward than outward. What's my purpose here? Why am I here? What's, what, what am I supposed to be doing? What's my, what's my goal in life? And that's why I do what I do, to welcome those who are just newly awakening, as well as for those who are well progressed on with their spiritual journey. I try to cover everyone. But it's really important. There are so many people out there that are not paying attention to the politics. And I, I, I love every each and one of you because what you're doing is holding space. That's incredibly important without investing any energy into what's going on politically. I admire that, I truly do. Some aspects of me may even be envious, wishing that I could maybe just come out to the beach and meditate all day. But I also have an obligation to all of my uh, visitors, all of our friends and family, our N5D uh, friends and family, to to bring you the truth on all levels and not to, and to include everyone along in their journey. And Sufi's saying exactly what I'm meaning. She says, I, Sufi says, I have several friends that are not the same politically, but I love them so much and decided to look past it exactly. And that's what we do. One of my beach buddies down on Beach Access 12, he watches MBC, MSNBC all the time. And <laughs> it's like there's a perpetual cloud over his head <laughs> ever since Trump got elected. And in the meanwhile, my world is sunny. <laughs> he's always constantly complaining. But you know what? You know, he's a buddy of mine. And outside of his thoughts politically, he's a good guy. And, you know, we don't allow politics to get in between us. <laughs> Kelly Jean says, I love you. Thank you. Now say hello to that birdie on your way back. <laughs> It's amazing though what's going on right now. And it's important not to get too emotionally involved. One of the most important things we can do right now is to ground, no matter what the weather's like, wherever you are. Even if that means staying inside and holding on to some shungite or black obsidian or any, any good grounding stone. But preferably outdoors. And ideally, barefooted. 
but just getting out and making that connection with nature during these times that we're going to be going through um, that'll help more than anything and you won't be like <laughs> Nancy Pelosi incoherent and scattered we're seeing a lot of people losing it so grounding is probably the best way to prevent that from happening and of course love stay in that vibration of love maintain that high vibration love everyone respect everything even if they don't love you back even if they unfriend you <laughs> send them love Christine says, my turquoise swimsuit matches the turquoise orbits raining from the sun shielding. Nice. Nella saying the fog in Texas was like this yesterday. So I put out a article today encapsulating everything that's going on with this energy wave that's going through right now, the, the pulsing uh, energy wave from the sun these plasma waves are just coming out and I included some amazing pictures in there as well so if you haven't checked it out please do please share with others on Facebook or whatever social networks you might be on something's happening Things are changing. You might notice certain little things in your life that you thought were always the same, but something might be a little bit different. For example, you might set your keys in one spot every time. But when you look for your keys, they're in a different spot. You might put your clothes in one drawer. All of a sudden, they're all in a different drawer. Little things. Pay attention. So there's the sun trying to break through with its pulsating rings of plasma energy. Yes, he brought a chair up, Leanne. To the beach, he's just hanging out there. But that's what we're looking at here. The sun is trying to break through. Hi Liz, thank you for joining. Dorothy's saying that 9-11 woke her up. And you're right, you know, once you go down that rabbit hole, there's no going back. Once you learn things like, I have an article on N5D about this, the, the double slit experiment. And what that does is it fires these protons into a, a screen. And if you're observing it, they go into the same pattern every time. Bam, 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 the same exact pattern. But if you're not observ observing them, it creates different patterns every time. It shows you that our thoughts create our reality. It proves that. These are things that you can't necessarily prove tangibly, you know, that, but we all know through the law of attraction that our thoughts manifest. 
So many times I'll manifest a parking spot. It's so easy to do. Just envision that spot's already open. And there it is. How do you prove it? Well, you just keep showing people time and time and time again that it's more than just coincidence. But that's my point about quantum physics and what's happening right now. When I had that vision of the sun emitting these concentric rings of plasma, I only told one person. And that was a couple weeks ago. And then when Rosie gave me the confirmation of her having the same vision, the same time I had mine, that was enough. And then I got additional confirmation from this one woman in a group in which I posted her picture in the article where you can see the concentric rings coming from behind her head and in front of the camera, as well as with a picture that Lisa Brown took recently, I believe on February 22nd, that shows the concentric rings around the sun with plasma energy. Tonight we have a drum circle on the main beach, which is just right up there, but you can't see it. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up going to that tonight if I'm not still working. Yeah, I woke up at 7.30 today. Only got two hours of sleep. I went to bed about 5, 5.30. <laughs> After waking up at 12.30 in the morning, so I didn't get a lot of sleep. But I feel great to t today. I feel energized. Weird. I feel great. Not even at all tired. So maybe I will check out the drum circle. Carolyn saying that the Schumann residence went up to 104 hertz. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. When was that, Carolyn? Sherry's asking if anyone was really itchy last night. Personally, I wasn't, but it wouldn't surprise me if there were others. Okay, Carolyn's saying the night before. It's all happening at night. Okay. That's the funny thing about these energy waves that are coming from the sun. You're gonna feel them and you're gonna feel the energy. You might not see it, but you're gonna feel it. And I think distinctly that's what many of us felt last night when we had to lay down for a nap. Nap around 7.30 or so. You're gonna feel these energy waves going through and look forward to uh, things changing around in your environment. I know that personally, 
I'm doing a lot of work on myself, taking a lot of time out when I'm not working, just coming to the beach and grounding and doing that work. I've been doing a lot of work on my DNA. As a matter of fact, I just recorded on one hour mantra of myself and I looped it. And basically all I'm saying is, let's see, how did I phrase that? All of the beneficial RNA and DNA codons are now open. I can do anything. And there was one last thing I said. I will only use my new abilities in humanity's best interest responsibly. Something along that line. And uh, I just looped it and looped it and looped it. So it's oh, actually over an hour. And what I'll do is, I have two versions of that. One with me just saying that, and one with me saying that with some ambient music in the background. And I'll upload both of those to my cell phone. And when I go on my walk of gratitude here on the beach, I'll just play it and keep looping it over and over and over again. Because usually on the beach, that's what I end up saying to myself when I'm thinking, why not just record it? And then I'll say it along with myself. <laughs> so I'll give that a shot and see what happens. And ideally, I've mentioned this before, you know, once the first thing I'm gonna do, once all the codons in my beneficial codons in my RNA and DNA are activated. I'm going to lay my hands down on Mother Earth and hook my higher self up with every other higher self and heal the entire world instantaneously. That can happen within a minute. That quickly. So, I mean, once you're we only have 20 of the 64 codons in our DNA turned on. If somebody can figure out how to activate all of them, they can do anything. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Beverly saying, please share that mantra with us. You know what I might do is I, I could actually upload that as an MP3 on N5D and you guys, you guys can just right click and save as um, I probably won't upload the one with the ambient music because I don't want to get copyright strikes against me but if you know anything about music you could do that on your own and put it in front of whatever ambient music you like or just do it yourself create your own mantra and loop it but maybe you want it from my voice. Maybe there's codes that you're getting. That's fine too. But every day I'm working on that. Uh, one of the things I en envision while I'm doing that is my DNA is rejuvenated back to the age of 12 or 13 years old and I envision myself at that age and that my DNA is healed. I have a sciatica issue where my L3 and L4 are compressed. I envision that the cartilage is in between that L3, L4 and that my back is once again healthy. There's so many things you can do. And of course, you send out the love to everyone else. But you have to start with the love within. And make, take care of yourself first. And then send that love for yourself through other people. But it has to start within you. Of course, I do my love bubble meditation after I do my walk of gratitude. That's where I invite Creator, Source, Universe, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Friends and Family on both sides of the veil, Galactic Neighbors and Friends, Higher Self and Mother Earth to join me in magnifying their loving, healing energy from their heart center 
and spreading it out as far as they can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. And I always end that by saying, we're all family. Now, all right, there's a woman in front of me walking. We're all family. If I look at her right now and think, okay, that's my cousin, Francis. You all, all, all of a sudden you look at that person in a little bit different light. Hey, it's family. You, you almost want to go up and give them a hug. You know, you have that kind of energy and that, that changes everything. So when you look at everybody on the beach, that was a bad pan because there's really nobody on the beach. But when you do look at them on the beach or wherever you are, walking down a street in a busy city at the park, at the lake, and you look at them as family, it changes the energy. So I'm grateful that we had all these people that are able to see this today. Um, although I am still shadow banned for the most part on Facebook. Uh, they'll allow me to post pictures, videos, and just short little thoughts of whatever I post in writing, but they don't really allow me to post any articles. They kind of hide them. I'm grateful for those that are able to see them. Very grateful to everyone that's able to share them. And uh, I'm really looking forward to whatever these incoming waves have to offer for us. I'm looking forward to everything that life has to offer at this point. I'm remaining very optimistic that it's coming to a head. Now, I'm not going to say that it's going to be this month, next month, this year, next year. You know, Pluto and Capricorn, uh, Pluto stays in Capricorn until 2023. It could be, it could be then. But you guys know me, I don't put a date on anything. Because timelines are always changing. Every millisecond, the timelines are changing. Nobody knows exactly when that shift or that flash of white light will happen. But the more we put love out there, the more we buy into the love frequency, the quicker we bring that to us. So, I'm gonna leave it off at that. Enjoy the energies that are coming in. Be cognizant of the changes that are happening around you. Stay in that vibration of love as much as possible. Express gratitude, forgive, maintain a high vibration and ground. All that stuff is so important right now. And everything else will work out in the end. Um, to those that are hating on you, send them love. It's the only way out of it. There's no other option. <laughs> so, until the next time. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and Zentasia.com. Sending you all infinite love and light. Peace.